people, they sit on their dreams, they sit on their aspirations, they sit on their goals, they sit on their passions. And that takes me to Matthew's in the Bible when God talks about the talents. God give all of his talents. Some he gave one, some he gave five, some of them he gave ten. But what hurts <coughs> God and what hurts some of us is that we take that talent and we hide it. And once we hide it, then we go into complain mode. Well, complain brings pain. It decreases on the game that's supposed to be sitting there for you because God now takes the talent and he gives it to somebody else. One thing I tried to do, once I got into me, I tell the kids a lot, I said, look, the turtle, do you know what a turtle do? They say, yes. I said, well, tell me what a turtle do. He said, a turtle takes his head and he puts it inside his shell. I said, young people, all you got to do, and usually I say young powerful people, and I said, that's right, I called you a name. Young powerful people, all you have to do is take this head, put it inside of you, and discover all the greatness, all those talents that are sitting right inside of you just waiting to be discovered. Somebody said, Donald, you should never be broke because of all the talents you have. And I spread that word. You should never be broke because of all the talents that you have that are just sitting inside of you awaiting for it for, to be discovered. Now, if you take a car, and I know everybody here has a light of a, of a car. I know my, the car that I like to have. But then you have some cars out there that I know I would never buy. But guess what? When those car companies make that money, I mean, make that car, they already know somebody's going to buy it. When a, when, a, when a company makes, if you will, uh, a diamond watch, if you will, no matter how crazy it might be designed, they already know somebody's going to buy it. So inside of you, there is something that you can bring to fruition. You better believe that somebody will buy it. 